Hey you guys, it's Shannon and I'm back with another video. So, under my last two posts, I told you guys to comment stuff that you wanted to see me doing. And you guys said makeup and hair. So I'm here because my hair looks a hot mess. Yos, yos, yos. But I'm going to show you guys today how to do um, a wash and go. And I know there's like a thousand videos on YouTube that shows you how to do wash and goes. But... I have a separate method like so that I can make the process go a lot faster and I'm gonna show you guys all my little tips and tricks that I use to make my hair turn out bomb every single time. I'm gonna get my products because I forgot to grab them before the video started so I'll be back. I use Aussie. These are my go-to shampoo and conditioners. Um, I know this one does have sulfates in it, this conditioner, but for my type of hair, it's a lot, it's really difficult to detangle my hair. So I do use a conditioner with sulfate because it helps me to get rid of the tangles quicker. And that's why after I do this step and condition, I go on with the shampoo. But I don't just use the conditioner. I actually use a little bit of honey. Like I warm up some water, put some hot water and this conditioner inside of the, the bottle. Uh, this is a mixture that I've made. It's typically really like milky, um, but I found with this mixture, the honey, honey attracts moisture to your hair. And the conditioner already works as giving you a lot of slip and whatnot. The honey just adds more slip and it makes your hair more manageable. A lot of people find that when you put more water on your hair, like it helps with, um, getting a comb through and whatnot so that's why i figured why not use the conditioner mix it with water and the honey to add the moisture and like already give it that slip that you need so um that's what i use i mix it all together until it's like a it's a liquidy consistency and this is what i put on my hair to detangle it and i use my felicia leatherwood brush mine might be a little bit dirty and it's broken because i got some thick hair okay so i use my felicia leatherwood brush and i use my hands and i also wear gloves because i don't want my hair like the friction from my hair hands going through my hair to break off my hair because i don't know i'm always i'm a every strand matters type of person you know what i mean so i do wear gloves um and i'm gonna go into the shower and i'm gonna show you guys the whole process and then after that, I go ahead and I put a plastic bag over my head because I don't buy shower caps. It's a waste of time and money. You can just use this, the bags that you get from the grocery store, okay? You can never say black people don't care about the planet. Anyways, I do use a plastic bag. And then after that, I sit for a couple of minutes. But I'm going to go and show you guys like how I do, do everything and what the products look like in my hair and how I shampoo it all out. Forgot to mention, I also use gloves when doing my hair. But first thing you need to do is wet your whole head of hair. And um, this might take a little bit of time, especially if you have a lot of hair and your hair is really thick. But the first thing I'm doing is wetting all of my hair. And then after I do that, I'm going to put my hair into sections and section off. I do four sections. Um, and then I go in with my conditioner that I mix with the honey and the hot water. And I start the ends, so I put the conditioner at the ends first, and then I rake my, make sure it absorbs into my hair, and uh, work it into my hair, and then I'll go in with my Felicia Leatherwood brush, and that's when I start to get the tangles out at the bottom. And I have a lot of hair, so if I finger detangled the whole thing, it would take a long time. So I brush out and detangle with my detangling brush the bottom. And then after I do that step, I go ahead and get going with my fingers and I finger detangle. This is the main reason why I wear those gloves because when you're detangling your hair, the friction from your hair and the hair strand can cause your hair to fall out. And I wanna cause like as little damage to my hair as possible. So I try to make sure that I have gloves on at all times. But after I do the, the big section, I go ahead and make smaller sections and I go in with the mixture again, and this time apply it at the root so that I make sure I get all of the hair strands. And then I twist it up, and I'm going to just go ahead and do that for the rest of my head. Also, you guys, I know it looks like I'm brushing and doing this really fast, obviously, because it's sped up. But actually, I'm being very careful. This process typically takes me um, an hour or an hour and 30, depending on like if I'm running out of time so i just finished putting all the conditioner in my hair 
And after I did that, I grabbed two scrunchies and I just put my hair in two little um, pigtails. I know I look like a 12 year old, but I ended up leaving this conditioner in my hair for the night. And then I woke up the next morning. This is me the next morning, putting on my gloves again. And so um, now I'm just taking those out and I'm going to wash all that conditioner out of my hair. Um, you see how there's not like much conditioner on my head? You can tell it really absorbed into my hair, but... I'm rinsing all of it out. If it doesn't all come out, it's fine. And then I go in with um, the Aussie Moist Shampoo. And I apply it to my roots because that's that's the main part that in, that needs to be. Um, that's the main part where it needs to be. And so then I go ahead and put it all over and just allow it to work its way down the twist. And then I make sure I rinse all of the shampoo out of my hair. And after I rinse out all the shampoo out of my hair, that's when I can start the process of putting in my gels and my leave-in conditioner. I use As I Am leave-in conditioner and Eco Styler gel. Um, but I take out all my twists. I go in sections because I don't want the 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 clumps. Like when I clump my hair, I don't want them to be too big of clumps. So I take it out, re-wet my hair, just make sure all that shampoo's out. This is where I would usually add the conditioner, the leave-in conditioner. But y'all, do you see how long my hair is? Okay, inches. I did not know my hair was all the way down my back like that. But anyways, now I'm adding my leave-in conditioner as I am leave-in conditioner. Then I'm going to go ahead with my um, the Orange Argan Oil Eco Styler Gel. And I like that gel the most because it helps with clumping your curls. I've used a green one before, and the green one is harder to work through your hair. Like, it doesn't allow you to clump your curls as well. If you've experienced with it, you know it's, it's not that great. But I'm going to show you guys um, how the fine it looks. You see the definition? Okay, okay. And then I'm going to try and show repeat the whole process on a second piece of hair. Um, so now I'm just doing the exact same thing. I put the gel at the base and then I grab some more gel, put gel at the bottom. And then I basically do this cupping method where I just cup water onto my hair as I'm like trying to shingle it through. And I'm just going to show you guys how I do it up the rest of my head. And then I'm going to go ahead and blow dry my hair. Um, also another thing is, I know people like, some people be like, uh, you're spending hours in the shower. That's, that's a lot, but you still have to wash afterwards. But I definitely recommend doing this process in the shower, um, because the gel, like the steam helps the gel, like, cause you don't want your gel to be flaky. And so you just do it in the shower cause it helps it blend, like the, it helps the gel and the leave-in conditioner blend better. But this is me showing you guys my hair. Um, I did add oil after this, but you guys didn't see. But now I'm just going to blow dry and show right. you guys what I got. So I just finished blow drying my hair. It is 100% dry. Um, you guys see the curls and whatnot. It's a, it, has, it does have a bit of a gel cast on it. But you can get rid of that, honestly, if you want to. I prefer to keep it because it helps my hair to last longer. But you can just put some like a, a little bit of oil on your hands and like scrunch it into your hair. And then, like, it'll loosen up over time. But I like the gel cast. Um, but, yeah, this is the method that I do in order to get these types of curls. And I stick with this method because it gives me consistent curls every single time. Like, do y'all see this? There is not one curl out of place. It's all defined. Let me show you the back. Actually, the process of doing my hair is not finished yet. I still have to go and stretch my hair. That's just another thing that I do because my hair plays with my length like all the time. Y'all saw, y'all saw when I was when I was washing it. Now it's barely touching shoulders. So I go ahead and I stretch a little bit, not too much because I don't want my hair looking straight, but I do stretch a little bit just so I can get a little bit of my length back. Okay, so I'm gonna come back. My hair's going to be stretched. I'm going to show you guys what it all looks like when it's all stretched. Okay. <laughs> so I just finished stretching my hair. I mean, it, it it gave me a little bit more hang time. You see? You see? Like a little bit more. Um, that's why I stretch my hair because I feel like it just adds the length that I have and that I'm proud of. And then no one gets to see because it's shrinkage, but it's fine. I make it happen. But 
Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the back. So. So yes, so that is how I do my wash and goes for all the people that have been questioning how I do my hair and keep it so healthy. That's my routine every weekend, every single weekend, unless of course I'm doing protective style. But if you guys like this video, please don't forget to hit the thumbs and click the bell so that you're notified every time that I post. I'm trying to get more consistent with you guys. And I know like it's going to be easier now because I'm on school. I'm on break from school and school was really like the main thing that was like, Ugh, you know what I mean? <laughs> so now I'm trying to be more consistent. I'm going to my next video is probably going to be a makeup video. So subscribe so you can see that makeup video because I know you want to know. I mean, I'm not wearing that much makeup right now, but I know how to beat my face with the a little bit of makeup, just a little bit, of, oh, just, and it's quick. It don't take that long. It doesn't take long at all. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching my video. Don't forget to add me on all my social medias: Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. And go watch another one of my videos. Bye.